Hi, my name is Peter, and I'm a power seller on eBay. And a few weeks ago, <clears throat> I was in the market for a good software program to help me track my eBay auction profits and sales. And I came across this auctiontracking.com. And what they are is a web-based system that goes out to eBay and PayPal about every 10 minutes. And they import all of your sales history and create very simple, easy to read, uh, detailed reports, income and expense reports. And I've been using it now for a couple of weeks and I like it so much I decided to make this demo video to uh, hopefully enlighten some other eBay sellers that are looking for the same type of program. Uh, this is the main page to auction tracking and I'll log in right now. This is the main menu to auction tracking and what I like best about this website is how simple it is to use. There's basically uh, five icons. Profile, which is your personal history. My cost, which is where you enter the purchase prices for everything you sell on eBay. And the enter shipping icon, which I'll talk about in a minute. And you have a reports icon where you can generate all the reports. And a consignment icon for those interested in making extra money selling on consignment. Uh, they make it really easy to do so. The My Cost function and the Shipping Price function are the two icons you'll be using most frequently. And the My Cost function, you basically open up the My Cost entry screen after you've listed items on eBay. And then I prefer to use the Express entry because I find it to be the fastest. And what you're going to do here is after you've listed your items on eBay, you're going to come into this screen and you're going to see your items listed here from the most recent to the oldest. And all we're going to do here, like an Armani Blazer, all we're going to do here is just enter the purchase prices that you paid for each item. This is a motorcycle jacket. I paid $19.95. And here's a Hugo Boss suit was $14.95. And then you just click Update Items. And that's all you have to do. Now all this information will automatically show up on all of the reports that you generate. The Enter Shipping icon and they also have an express entry which I prefer to use. <clears throat> what happens with auction tracking is that the shipping price that you charge to any customer automatically comes into auction tracking right through eBay. So you don't have to do anything with that number but, but what, you wanted, what, what they're asking you to do here is enter the actual shipping cost that you pay to ship each item. So the way I do this is every time I get ready to ship items like I may have 10 or 15 packages to ship what I'll do is I'll print my labels online and as I print my labels I'll just come into uh, this this page and you're gonna see the most recent sale to the oldest sale and all you're gonna do here is enter the price for shipping and this is a belt that I paid 485 to ship that and here's a football jersey that was also 485 and then once again you're gonna click update items and that's all there is to it so it's important to note that this website is not designed to take a lot of time to use. Basically, you list your items on eBay, you log in for about a minute, you click on My Cost, you enter your purchase prices, you click Enter, and that's it. And then when you ship items, you get your items ready for shipping, you click on Enter Shipping, you print your labels online, open the auction tracking window, enter those shipping prices, and you're done. And that's all you have to know about using this system and that's what I love about this website there is no learning curve and there is n there are no manuals to read it's very simple to use now once you've entered that information then it's time to have fun and and you, what you do here is you'll click on the reports icon and you've got access to consignment letters that you can print out for your consignees summary reports subtotal reports detailed reports by category by uh, date, chronological, reverse chronological, you have three income and expense reports. My personal favorite that I'd like to show you in this demo, demo is detailed reports by category. All you do is select a time period. I'll click 30 days. And you can, you can search by all items which are active and sold, sold items or, or current listed items. I'll do sold items for this demo. So you're basically going to click the report of your choice, click the report period of your choice, Click either sold, all, or listed, and just click on generate report, and that's all you have to do. So right now, what we're viewing right here 
is a complete detailed sales report for last month showing every item that I sold by category. So there you see I just sold an iPhone. Here's an accessories, men's belts, clothing, shoes and accessories, ties, athletic apparel, and so on and so on. And then at the bottom of the screen, I get my totals for the last 30 days. I sold 66 items, list dates, date of sale, amount paid to me, customer paid shipping, refunds if there are any, and it's important to note that auction tracking calculates every refund. If you give a partial refund to somebody, it shows up in auction tracking automatically. If you give a full refund to somebody, <coughs> automatically comes in. You don't have to be an accountant to figure any of this out. Consignment payments, if there are any. My cost, cost of shipping, which are the numbers we enter. Taxes, if any. eBay fees, PayPal fees, and total profit. And you can download all of this information to Excel, CSV files. You can print them out and keep them on file if you like. It's important to note on the detailed reports page also that if you find a my cost or a cost of shipping that is incorrect, you can enter or change the information directly on the detailed report simply by clicking on the number. And 995, let's say, let's say I paid 895, just put in the 895, save, close window and refresh. There it is, 895. So you can change this information instantly on the detailed reports, which is a very, very cool feature. And um, I'd like to show you also the detailed history. And I'll explain it to you this way. If you look at all these numbers here, these are gross figures. And if you look at your eBay fees, you'll see a, you'll see a cost for this genuine coach alligator belt you'll see that we have eleven dollars and eighty five cents in eBay fees and once again that's the gross number and what auction tracking does that nobody else does is they track the entire history of each item you list on eBay so what we're seeing here is the entire history of eBay fees for this item now to get all of your details for this sale all you do is click on any one of the descriptions and for this demo I'll click on this genuine alligator belt and you're gonna get a pop-up window here that shows every single solitary fee by date for this one item. Now this blows me away because I, it's amazing how much information goes into just one sale on eBay. And until you've seen all the history of one sale right in front of you like this, it's pretty hard to, to, to believe how, how, how complex it actually gets. Real briefly, here you, on the upper left hand corner you'll see I have three item numbers here. So that tells me instantly that I've listed that about three times. And you can see the buy it now listing fee on 422 for 25 cents. And on 429, I listed it again. Another is an insertion fee. Then you have an, then you have an insertion fee store inventory on the 6th for 10 cents. And I had to relist it again for another month for another 10 cents. Then I sold it on the 8th, and you got PayPal fees of 341, cost of shipping 480, customer paid shipping $7.10. Sales price $100, final value fee because it was a fixed price sale, $9. And then at the bottom, they calculate all the uh, credits and debits, and they show you my profit of $77.09 with a gross margin of 71.98. Now, this is a, uh, remarkable the way they track the, each, each sale like this. And obviously, you have access to many, many more reports. Uh, I don't have time on this video to show you every one, but I would recommend to any eBay seller, if you're selling on eBay and you're looking for a good way to keep track of your sales so that you really know what you're making on eBay, I highly recommend you give this website a test drive and I think you'll be real pleased with it. Okay, thank you. I don't know.